Okay, we are given the point, negative a comma 15, and we know this is on the terminal side of the angle theta. Let's go ahead and make a sketch first. Right here, I'll just draw the x and the y axis, and we know the x value is negative 8, and the y value is positive 15, right? So let me just say this right here is my negative 8, and let me put this down for 15. And we have this point right here, isn't it? Negative 8, comma 15. And for the terminal side, we are going to go from the origin and then we draw a ray like this and that's the uh, terminal side. Okay, I know it's not exactly straight line but you know it's okay. Anyways angle is going to be from here to here that's the angle theta and that's pretty much it. And now let's come up with a triangle so that we can fill this out right. We know from here to here is the horizontal distance that's the x value which is negative 8 and we also draw this down right here vertically and that's the y value which is positive 15 and we also need to what the r from this point to the origin okay so i have to figure out what r is and we have the formula it's just the Pythagorean theorem isn't it let me write this down r is equal to square root of x squared plus y squared and we know this is square root x is negative 8 so put on negative 8 square and we add it with the y is 15. So we put on 15 right here, square that. And we know square root of, this is going to give us positive 64, and this is positive 225. Altogether, this is square root of 289, and that's equal to 17. So r is 17. So that means r right here is 17. I can label this as y is 15, and the x is negative 8. And now we are ready sine is y over r and by the way r is always positive okay keep that in mind x and y sometimes you have to be careful because they can be negative or positive in this case y over r y is 15 r is 17 so we have 15 over 17 that's it cosine it is x over r x is negative 8 r is 17 so we have negative 8 over 17 tangent is y over x right and you can see it's almost like opposite over adjacent if you look at this as your angle right same thing so but anyways y over x y is 15 x is negative 8 and this is what we have and once again if you write this down and figure this out already and if you set up the question like this sine cosecant cosine secant tangent cotangent these three right here are pretty much for free because these three are just the reciprocal of these three, right? Accordingly. Cosecant theta is just the reciprocal of sine theta, so we will just re you know, reverse that and uh, flip that. 17 over 15. This right here is 17 over negative 8. If you would like, you can put a negative in the front or on top. Doesn't matter, but let me write it down like this. Last one. Flip that. We have negative 8 over 15 and that's it 